I would like to present uh, the next keynote lecture, Professor Kenji Ishihara from Japan. Kenji graduated from Civil Engineer Department, University of Tokyo. He is now Professor of Chuo University, Tokyo, Emeritus Professor, University of Tokyo. Professor Ishihara was the President of International Society of Soil Mechanics and Geotechnical Engineering from 1997 to 2001. He devoted his whole life for a very wide variety of uh, areas, especially geotechnics associated with the earthquake and natural disaster. Your kind uh, introduction, uh, Dr. Uh, Long, who is the organizer of this conference. Uh, I'm very much honored to be here in front of you and to give an uh, opportunity to address issues of current importance, particularly in Japan, associated with the tremendous disaster due to tsunami invasion and uh, also consequent geotechnical uh, damage. Uh, since this issue has been widely reported worldwide by mass media, uh, there is no need for me uh, to repeat the general features of the damage. I <coughs> want to address the <coughs> issues of geotechnical importance uh, in this uh, opportunity. <coughs> Before I start uh, my presentation, uh, I was asked by the president of the Internet Society of Soil Mechanics and Geotechnical Engineering uh, <coughs> to uh, give you the uh, best regards and also the success congratulations to organize such a uh, interesting and memorable uh, conference. Uh, Professor uh, John Luis Burio is now acting as the president of Internet Society. Uh, he was keen to come here. However, because of the uh, council meeting uh, <coughs> which was held uh, a week ago, he, he is unable to show up. Secondly, uh, <coughs> uh, the president of the Japanese Geotechnical Society, Dr. Kusakabe, uh, also requested to me to uh, give you uh, his best regard and successful conference uh, on behalf of the Japanese Geotechnical Society. Uh, these are the message uh, I have to uh, write, uh, I have to uh, give to you at the beginning. The my <coughs> Coming to the main topics of my presentation, uh, I changed a little bit the title of my presentation as written in this here. here. Uh, I want to uh, touch on tsunami-induced damage to, uh, to some extent. Although the investigation is still going on, uh, I cannot I'll tell the detail of the, uh, the damage features, uh, but I, I hope I, I'll be able to address the main point of uh, geotechnical uh, importance. The Sendai in the northern part of Japan, the event of the earthquakes was at magnitude 9.0, as you might know, and that is the uh, highest largest magnitude event we encountered in Japan since the observation of uh, earthquake uh, started about 130 years ago. This is a typical time history of acceleration recorded at Sendai nearest to the epicenters where you can see there are two events taking place one after another with a maximum acceleration exceeding 1,000 girls. The trajectory of the motions of acceleration plotted in the axis of EW and NS direction. As you can see, the motion is predominant 
in the for the spectral uh, response actuation for uh, blood galaxies against the period of the second. And this kind of things are not so familiar with the computer engineers, so I'm going to skip the detailed account of the meaning of the uh, spectral oscillation. This is a recorded motion at Urayasu in Tokyo uh, Bay area, indicating the motion oscillation on an order of 160 grams. Uh, in the east uh, directions. In the east direction. Uh, this is also the axis, uh, spectral response acceleration uh, <coughs> obtained uh, from the analysis of motions recorded at Urayasu in Tokyo Bay. Uh, the the effect of uh, earthquake spread downwards, uh, southwards to the area of Tokyo Bay and also the uh, lower beach of the uh, very long river, which is called Tunnel River. The liquefaction developed extensively uh, in these areas as well as the uh, reclaimed area surrounding Tokyo Bay. <coughs> uh, this is an enlarged map of Tokyo Bay. Uh, <coughs> indicating the particularly uh, devastated uh, areas due to the production. An enlarged map uh, shown here indicates special area of damage due to liquefaction. I would like to concentrate on the uh, damage features in this reclaimed land, which is called Urayasu City, as well as some part of the <coughs> areas belonging to the Chiba prefectures. Uh, areas encrossed by this dotted line suffered tremendous damage. Uh, <coughs> there are several uh, residential areas around, around here. So in total, uh, 75,000 uh, houses suffered uh, some amount of settlement and tilt. Uh, the tilt even a uh, small amount of tilt, say 0.5%, uh, <coughs> that is 1 meters, no, 10 meters, 5 centimeters tilt. Looks like this, typically, uh, <coughs> showing the, uh, uh, a kind of uh, uh, interaction between foundation and surrounding soils. And also, uh, this building wall <coughs> is supported by piles whereas this entrance is just sitting on the liquefiable materials outside, so there was a, about 50 centimeter uh, vertical offset that developed as a result of settlement. Typical uh, distress is dis uh, described in these pictures. Uh, there are a lifeline buried at a depth of about two meters from the ground surface, and the most serious was the damage of the sewage uh, discharge line uh, because of the uh, <coughs> corroding of liquefied, liquefied material into uh, of this uh, sewage line, uh, people cannot use the waters uh, in the house, so they have to evacuate uh, for <coughs> to find out another place to dig. This is the typical uh, distress uh, incurred by local uh, people. Uh, <coughs> I'd like to talk about a uh, somewhat uh, lateral deformation which take place in this zone. Looking uh, <coughs> at from the Virginia Tech, uh, <coughs> where you can see this, uh, the spreading. This is the uh, view towards the east, uh, where you can see the collapse of the sea, the sea wall uh, <coughs> in front of the about 30 meters headlands, uh, which is uh, retained by the seawall behind. Uh, this is the features of the sun spreading, which had developed in front of the seawall, but <coughs> in the back of the uh, breaking water, uh, big water uh, <coughs> rock statue. Uh, 
And this spread, the damage of this, uh, in this area is uh, <coughs> schematically or conceptually described in this map. Again, the cemetery park, and then the CO, and also this is a seed pile uh, supported brick uh, <coughs> water rocks. There was a brick faction which had developed along this line, uh, inducing the lateral flow as, <coughs> as illustrated in this diagram. I would like to introduce another uh, features of the uh, damage uh, <coughs> in Chiba areas a little bit uh, east of Urayasu. Uh, I'm going to talk about the uh, settlement of the uh, ground near the entrance to the parking area of uh, baseball stadium, which is Marina Stadium. This is the well-known uh, river, which is called Hanami uh, River. Uh, this is a picture showing the uh, vertical offset which developed uh, in this parking uh, park, traffic park areas. Uh, uh, this is the vertical offset uh, between the uh, houses and also the surrounding soil. Uh, <coughs> showing about 50 centimeter relative uh, displacement uh, due uh, probably to the interaction between foundation and surrounding uh, soils. Uh, the <coughs> conceptual diagram of this uh, large scale lateral flow is described here. This is the park areas. Uh, there was the bushes, uh, <coughs> and there is a, a walkway about one or two meters below this elevation, and further on, uh, oh, I'm sorry, uh, this, uh, this is the riverbed <coughs> elevation. Uh, this picture shows how uh, <coughs> a very simple uh, analysis was conducted to provide the first hand interpretation uh, for the settlement of the uh, ground uh, which took place in the level ground using uh, this chart which expressed the fact of safety against liquefaction in terms of the uh, <coughs> a post liquefaction for metric strain. Uh, for example, I'm, right, I'm going to show you two examples of uh, uh, liquefaction damage site and also two examples where there was no evidence of uh, liquefactions. So this is one of the results of analysis uh, drawing attention to this particular place in Urayasu. Uh, the results of uh, <coughs> analysis is shown here. This is SPT N values. The light colored uh, soil profile indicate the original N values and the quick rock the curve indicates N1 values normalized to an um, effective compounding stress of one kilogram per square centimeter, as you might know. Uh, this is a factor of safety against liquefaction, protein uh, <coughs> versus depth, and this is a volumetric strain. If we uh, integrate the volumetric strain, is about 40 centimeters ground settlement <coughs> estimated on the basis of the super analysis. Another example of the ground settlement was made uh, at this place, uh, that is uh, Isobe town, south of uh, Hanami River. <coughs> uh, results of uh, analysis show the maximum settlement on the order of 40 centimeters. The <coughs> non liquefied site, which is located in all town part of uh, Rayasu, uh, show the <coughs> settlement distribution as shown here, coming up with a value of uh, 20 centimeters. Although there was no evidence, no apparent signs of liquefaction visible on the ground surface, the calculated values show a 20 centimeter <coughs> uh, settlement, which is different, <coughs> which appears to be uh, but 
uh, incorrect evaluation of uh, assess of the settlement assessment. This is another example of the <coughs> analysis uh, conducted at this place where there was no surface evidence of liquefaction at the time of the earthquake. Now, <coughs> the results of analysis is shown here, uh, coming up with the volume of uh, 20 centimeters. Now, <coughs> all these uh, data are plotted in this diagram uh, in terms of uh, estimated settlement, the uh, <coughs> data are plotted in this area indicating uh, relatively good agreement between estimated and observed values. However, in the old town areas uh, enclosed by this uh, uh, <coughs> line, the estimated settlement uh, was <coughs> amount, amounted to tsunami have been uh, publicized very widely by news media. So I don't want to uh, <coughs> touch on this subject, but I just want to introduce two cases of uh, uh, damage and two cases only of no damage. One is uh, occurred in 20 uh, Kamaishi city, your pictures. Uh, the rotation uh, is indicated here. This is a uh, northern part of Japan. It suffered tremendous. Uh, distress due to the tsunami effect. Uh, the place, exact place of uh, uh, <coughs> collapse of uh, sea walls at Tony is located here. Uh, this is the uh, image uh, taken from the Google Earth indicating the sea walls. Uh, <coughs> extending from the south to this location uh, where you can see the collapse of the seawall here. There are about 100 houses on the steep slopes so everybody evacuated, nobody was killed at this, yeah. in this instance. This is a large uh, map of the tsunami uh, devastated seawall. Uh, so this is a farm view of the banks indicating the banks of the geo which was destroyed particularly in this portion where there is an entrance between the fishery port and the <coughs> housing or industrial areas behind the geo uh, uh, Looking uh, from the north, that is, uh, we are looking from here, <coughs> the situation of the tsunami protecting a sea wall looks like this. You can see the very many houses uh, sitting on the steep slope. And then, uh, now uh, we are looking from the south uh, to the uh, collapsed uh, places. Uh, this is the sea port in front of the sea wall, uh, which uh, was recovered to some extent when we paid, paid a visit to this site. Uh, this is the overturning <coughs> of the true sea wall. It's about 12.5 meters high. <coughs> and this is a, another view of the overturning of sea wall uh, consisting of a concrete uh, crop. Uh, the chairman of organizations committee. Uh, I uh, would like to uh, say sorry because uh, we should have uh, coffee.